What is going on guys? We are here with ulti around three losers bracket and uh, we got Zuchtrest, how you would pronounce it in German versus Alexander and we see some rain versus uh, interesting a bulky offense so it's gonna be either Scarf High Dragon or Scarf Greninja on uh, Zuchtrest's team and on Alex's side I do assume that is uh, damn broke Pella person he has two rain abusers that's no that's not specs and this also likes the rain um, so making making hydro pump stronger and the other Z move user is most likely the Coco usually on rain it could be gigavolt havoc it could be the twinkle tackle we don't know that yet but yeah if I was Alex Alex here and this is not Scarf Grin which it shouldn't be I would um, probably switch into my Coco or my Ferrothorn. Uh, Coco covers the Draco and Coco covers the uh, U-turn. I would yeah, I would probably go to my Coco here. And yeah, if I'm Zuchtres and depending on Zuchtres set, if this Hydrogen is not Scarf, um, I would probably go to my Toxapex. I would just go in the Good Ninja. Um, maybe this is Scarf Gren and he bricked him to go into Coco. That would make some sense. Yeah, he's Scarf. He goes for U-turn. Um, this Ferrothorn is a lot of the of, a lot of the times a Chobbleberry on this team as we do see he doesn't have lefties. He gets up a spike there. Um Zuchtres gets up a T-spike that might force Alex to defog later. T-spike hits a lot of the mons like these four. And yeah. Alex does knock off the packs, which makes sense since Arena Trap is now banned. It's not allowed anymore in this round of ulti. Uh, most Toxic packs are gonna be carrying a uh, black sludge. And yeah, um he can I was about to say he can go for Skull out here, but he doubles into High Dragon, makes a really nice play. So if this is a Specs High Dragon, he doesn't have good switch-ins at all. Especially um, the only like the only good switch-in is the Coco, but especially since he has the T spike up, is what I was trying to say. The Coco is not a good switch-in because it gets poisoned, and if it's Specs, Dark Bolts will still do around half to the Coco. And we see the Coco comes out, the Dark Pulse is here, and it's 53, so that's definitely Specs confirmed, and the Coco is already weakened. So I would always go into Landris here if I was... Um, actually, the Z-Twinkle Tackle might come out here. This is a tough turn. He goes on a Toxapex, break then a Z-Twinkle Tackle, or just a Dazzling Gleam, and that's the Gigabolt Havoc, and the Toxapex just dies. Um, that is, I mean, you can say it was a 50-50, you didn't know if it was which Z move it was, but I'm not the biggest fan of second Toxapex. Um, that's the HPIs as well, this is uh, probably not special attack invested at all, and maybe even minus special attack nature Coco, that HPIs did no damage. Yeah, I assume it's just physical Coco, uh, with Wild Charge, U-Turn, Hidden Power Eyes. Uh, like the Gigavolt Havoc, obviously. Um, so he gets up the rocks and cheek spikes. So Alex is gonna most likely go into Pelipper Defog or into Ferrothorn here. Um, we see the lefties Landris, so he can. Alex can just U turn here, yeah. As he goes for Wild Charge, predicting potentially the Scissor on the HP as a U turn. I'm not sure, but. He, this is a good play by Zuchtres because he cannot go Pelipper to Defog because I'm pretty sure Specs Darkbolt would kill that. So he's gonna go... Or he goes in the Gren. Okay. Um, but yeah, losing losing um, Toxabek sucks because now the Kingdra becomes a huge problem later on. Um, his only water resist and the only thing that outspeeds the Kingdra if the Kingdra is modest is the Scarf Gren. So yeah, he's probably gonna go for Ice Beam or U-Turn or Low Kick, that are all the options that he has here. As usually, usually uh, on Ren you run Ash Gren. So um, if he gets the play correct, I think Scissor is a fine play here, um, but if Alex goes for Pump predicting that, then Zucht is in a bad position. But Scissor covers Ice Beam, Low Kick and all the other moves that I mentioned, U-Turn. But yeah, it was too risky for him, I guess. So we see Alex messed up his Greninja. It's not Protean, it's not Battle Bond, it's Torrent Greninja. So I'm pretty sure that's just a team building error. Uh, <laughs> exactly, he said wrong trade. He was supposed to get his Battle Bond there, I'm pretty sure. He just goes for the Scarf U-Turn to revenge him. And depending on what he goes to here, um, Alex gets a Defog off. I would probably... I mean, if you go in the Coco here, that lets in the Swampert. If you go Lando, that also lets in the Swampert. So, like, it's tough for Zucht. Um, Scissor probably, um, if it's defensive, can um, can help with the, with the Swampert. Yeah, you, so he decides to go Scissor. That means Swampert doesn't just get a kill, but the problem is that lets the Pelipper in. Uh, Alex gets the Devog off here. 
So if I w if he has U-turn, I would go for Mega and U-turn, just to um, get the extra bulk. But at this point, um, since he lost his packs, he only has the Gren left. So the Kingdra gets a kill every time it comes in, and the Kingdra pretty much cleans up. And Pert is also a huge problem. <laughs> My bond wasn't strong enough. He goes hard into uh, Gren, knowing the defog is coming, and he can only kill us with Rock Slide. I don't know if Ice Beam would kill. So Alex can go into his Ferrothorn or his Swampert here. Um, but yeah, like, he, Alex's Rain Reaper is just clean up the game. If he had knockoff on Scissor, that would have been an option to go for as well on a Pelipper. So when a Pelipper comes back in that, he, he would have only had five rain turns. So he just went for Rock Slide, Ferro gets spikes back up. And yeah, the game is just over, he gets the rain back up. Uh, does he use no rocks? He, he rocks his, uh, rocks his, there was, there, there was no, there was no sentence. I don't know why I said that like that. There was no word, there was nothing. But yeah, the game is over at this point. Yeah, he can eat this up, but now he only has one more switch in the spikes. And I'm pretty sure the king was out of range from a uh, move from the Gren. And Ferrothorn is just pretty much fine to scout what the Greninja goes for. Because he don't want to go hunt into your range reapers and risk because they both win. And yeah, now he's locked into spikes. Um, I assume we do see the scissor switch here. Alex can just go and hard into his Rain Reaper here. Knowing that this is locked in. But he can also go for Leech Seed. Like, it doesn't matter. He can go for spikes or Leech Seed. Like, eh. Actually, this Ferris one, if it's the um, team from the forum that NJMP has, and just change it a little bit. It actually is Chobbleberry. And it, it doesn't have Leech Seed, and when I use this Rain Team, I change it to Lefties and put Leech Seed on. I know that HJK uh, for many champs is a big problem, HJK, but yeah, I just like Lefties. And like, even if you Trouble Berry, you can keep Trouble Berry, but like, I don't like a Ferrothorn without Leech Seed. But I think this one has Gyro Wall, Power, Knock Off, and Spikes. And, and, and that gets like, still a cool set, but like, I like my Ferrothorn healthy, so I always like run Leech Seed. And in the game that I had with Dennis, I knew he pro most likely wouldn't bring a Medichim, so I had left these as well. I didn't have a Troubleberry, because I know Troubleberry is to help with Medichim, Alexam. I didn't expect him to bring those mods. But yeah, he kills off the Pharaoh, the Pharaoh gets up all the spikes, Alex resets the rain, and he gets a slow U turn with Pelipper, or he can just Scald here, and then he just wins with his Kingdra. Um, yeah. So, um,. Alex takes game one, and we shall see if Zuchtkas can bring it back. He, yeah, he can even just go for Skull here on the Scissor, since it's rain boost, that's gonna do a good chunk. There's the SD, and he does just go for U-turn. Into Kingdra, I assume, since Scissor has more defense than Spadef, and Surf just cleans up the game, he doesn't have to risk a pump miss. Uh, Bullet Punch is obviously resist resisted and still doesn't do too much, even at plus two. Uh, 30, 39 is actually like a decent chunk, so that scissor was probably um, invested in attack in some sort, some sort of way. And yeah, like he like Sochtres was like not a super like wild team this time. Like Hydreigon was cool to see, but other than that, his team was like kind of standard. So we shall see if he has some wild heat for us in game two. This crazy idea Torn Gren here. But that Torn Gren wasn't like the main thing that put him work. The main thing was uh like after Pax died, King Dorber just pretty much cleaned up. And a Pert, even if King didn't clean up, Pert probably would have cleaned up. Because the scissor looked to be like some some attack invest had some attack investment like I said, so like Pert's waterfall would have done super like huge amounts to scissor as well. So yeah, there is game two. Let me click on that real quick, and uh, the sides. Let me let me switch the sides as well. Alexander brought this offense. He brought this before with extra shine in the last round, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, it is a double sash lead lead uh, Excadrill with rocks, lead Greninja life or Mimic QZ move with Zygarde as the knock off scissor with bullet punch and Calm Mind Shift Gear Megina with Bolt Beam. So we see an interesting Sableye balance on the other side. Um, most likely Scarf Katana or Scarf Lele, but I assume Scarf Katana and then Specs or Z Move Lele. And then a nice defensive core around those two mons. So these are with Katana, you can just go for Leaf Blade here, bring the drill down pretty low. And Alex is just gonna get the rocks up as 
Um, Zuch doesn't have any hazard control and this the drill has mold breaker so there was no point in leaving with Sableye, he would have gotten rocks up anyway. He gets a crit on the scissor, that is a nice chunk. Um, I can see Alex going for U-turn or knockoff. Uh, like I said, it's uh, SD knockoff. I don't know why I said. I know the team, yeah. I don't know why I said U-turn. But always when I see Scissor, I think about U-turn. But on this team, it's always the SD knockoff. So Zucht is gonna switch here into Toxapex or. Oh, he goes on the Sableye. Okay, okay. So he doesn't wanna lose the Black Sludge on the Toxapex. He's, he's on another plateau. He's, he's above. <laughs> Like, this guy is a genius. Okay, so he, he goes on the, on the knockoff, he doesn't want to lose the black side on the pack, so he doesn't want to lose the lefties on the stealer. And now he can just go for a wisp or for a recover. I assume he's gonna go for a recover. There's the SD. So now, um, he doesn't want to take a huge hit on the Sable, since the Sable is really nice to prevent the Greninja from getting up spikes or... Yeah, he doesn't care about T-Spikes because he has a um, Toxapex, but he would care about spikes. So he's definitely gonna switch out. If he goes hard into Lily on a bullet punch, he's a god. But I assume he's just gonna go Steeler. Since he can threaten it with a flame sorrow. Alex goes for Bullet Punch. Um I feel like knockoff would have been a good play there. But Bullet Punch obviously does more to save that, but it was quite obvious that he was gonna switch out there. He does just go for the flame thrower and gets the unfortunate burn on the Greninja. Uh, I assume he's gonna go on a Toxapex here. He could also go for protect, but this Gwen could potentially go for hazard, so there's not really a point in protecting. Uh, if he goes on the Sable here predicting like a taunt slash a hazard from the Alex, that's a really good play. He goes in the Sable and gets the play correct, because uh, Alex doesn't want uh, T-Spikes going up, I assume. T-Spikes would hurt the Zygarde, the Mimikyu, the... Yeah, the Zygarde and the Mimikyu only, but those two ones are important, especially the Zygarde if it's DD. That crit that um, he got there is actually kind of annoying for him, because otherwise the Gren wouldn't have died and he could have recovered off and the Sable would have been more healthy. So I assume this hippo either has Ice Fang or Whirlwind uh, for the Zygarde. We do see it's DD uh, Z-Tectonic Rage that does a good chunk, but hippo munches it. And it's funny, he just goes for rocks in front of a DD Zygarde. He's like, no, 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 I don't care. So he's going to slack off here. And uh, it's funny how he eats this up. So Alex is going to DD again, seeing he doesn't do enough damage. I would go for Whirlwind here, but he does just go for slack off. Uh, he can go for Whirlwind here now, or Ice Fang. And he does show he has woven. He just uh, woven it out, and does, that did a laughable amount considering it was plus two earthquake. He goes on the Celesteela on the knockoff. So now he loses lefties, which means he doesn't have any recovery on this other than leech seed. So this is gonna be a bit annoying. He does probably just throw up a leech seed here as Alex uh, sacks off the drill. And he can go into either the Midjourna or, okay, back into Zygarde. Uh, if this is a substitute Zygarde, um, yeah, Zucht has to get the fuck out of there. He still also needs the Celesteela, potentially for the Scizor. There's the sub, and he can just go hard for Whirlwind, as the Dragon Dance is pretty obvious. But he just go for Slack of first, and now he's gonna Whirlwind. Alex is most likely just gonna go for Earthquake, yep. He goes for Quake, okay, okay. I feel like Whirlwind like, would've been fine. So he does DD up again, there's a slag off. I don't know why he's not war winning, like he f always goes for slag off before he goes for wind. But the hippos just doesn't care, I don't. I think it's max defense, right? Like I didn't run any calcs, but the hippos just eating hits, like it's his job. He goes into Toxapex uh, on the Ice Beam, as Alex just played it safe there. Um, so if he gets, if he can get a Scald burn here with the packs, that would be really helpful to um, get rid of the leftovers recovery on the mag. So t doesn't kill thanks to Black Sludge. Um, he does go for t and he gets a crit that is really unfortunate. You can say he was on the defensive and Alex could have fished for Paras or crits, but still that is really unfortunate. Uh, he goes on the Lele, this is probably Specs or Z-Move like I said earlier. Alex knows this, um, Majorna can win the game, so he switches out, uh, because all pummeling would do a fuck ton. We do see it is not all of pummeling, it is a Shattered Psych and it just kills the Zygarde. Now he goes into Mimikyu. Mimikyu does outspeed the Lele if it's Jolly. He can just go for Shadow Claw. And I think the Hippodon was at 54, so maybe the Hippodon was a bit too low to switch in. That's why he didn't go to it there, I assume. He does just sack off the Lele. Uh, now he can go to Kartana here and get like, Smart Strike pretty much. As... Alex is most likely... I don't remember how healthy the Scizor is, so he just stays into weaken this Kartana a bit. I assume the Shadow Claw is around 40%. It does 39. And he's just gonna uh, go for Smart Strike again, pick off the Mimikyu, get a nice attack boost with the Beast Boost action. And he's gonna go Scizor here and go for Roost. And... He's probably gonna go to Hippowl on the Slack of into Whirlwind. 
uh, since he could also go Sableye and try to burn, but I don't remember how healthy the Sableye is. He goes in the Hippowdon, that's the Roost. Uh, so Hippo can go for Hard Will and predicting an SD, or he can go for Slack Off. Um, but he doesn't lose anything from slacking off there's the SD. Um, now Alex is gonna be knocking off the hippos lefties, which is gonna be annoying for Zucht. And the wound is gonna be coming here, obviously. So the Majorna is really a, a big problem for him. Since he lost his packs, Ice Beam picks up the hippos and the fist death orientated one. There's the Soul Heart boost. He actually needs um he needs to shift gear up twice to outspeed the Cartana. So Zucht goes for um, just for recover. I feel like Alex should have just gone for Calm at the first time instead of Ice Beaming. Uh, Zucht goes for recover again. Ice Beam still doesn't do it KO. It only has 46, so he can knock off the lefties. That is really nice. And if he gets the Will O Wisp on this and he gets enough chip damage on the Majorna, he has a chance with his Scarf Katana. But if Alex just shift gets twice, Alex wins. So if Alex doesn't misplay here, he just uh, wins. Uh, since he already has three special, now he has four special attacks boost. But he he he's forgetting about shift gearing again. He only shift gear once so far. Since Katana is 109 base speed and it's choice scarf, it still outspeeds the mag. Uh, knock off plus burn is doing the nice chip to the mag, and I'm not sure if it's still is it's already in range from uh, from Leaf Blade, uh, from Smart Strike is what I meant. I meant Smart Strike. It is not in range, but maybe the burn kills it. So Alex definitely messed up there. If he just shift gear again, this wouldn't been this wouldn't have been a problem. But now he can go for protect with Celestila, and the burn is gonna pick off the mag. And unless Alex gets a crit with the scissor on a on a knockoff that might kill the Celestila, then he loses because Flamethrower kills the scissor obviously. So he he didn't shift gear twice, so he messed up there. But it happens. So we're gonna see a game three unless Alex like pulls out a crit here or something. Like this, it doesn't have an item anymore, so like knockoff is obviously not gonna kill, and even if it had an item... I don't remember how much it did, but I assume it might not even kill even if it still had an item. So yeah, um, I don't know why he's taking so long. Just click flamethrower, my man, and... Oh, maybe he already clicked and it's Alex taking his time. Like, you just have to go for knockoff crit, like there's no other play, right? Like, if you SD, you die to flamethrower, there's no point in SDing, I think. Mm-hmm. He goes for SD, I don't know. Maybe maybe flamethrower a roll. No, he just dies. Not sure about the SD play. I think he should have just gone for a knockoff crit, like I said. But yeah, we're gonna get a game three. We shall see if we get some fire from uh Zug the rest. <laughs> Um so Alex, we can see that he kinda Now he kinda changed it up, but he also like this time he brought a team that he already brought in the last round. So like he might bring a team again that he already brought last round. So Zuchtres might bring like something based off that. He has used his um Alexander has used his High Dragon team for laddering and in round I think one versus Ray Scarface. I don't think he brought in round two if I recall correctly. So he might bring that team since that's I don't, I don't wanna say signature, but that that he's kinda known to use that team. I don't know if I should say that's his signature team, is what I meant. I know that wasn't a correct sentence earlier, but yeah, I'm expecting some wildfire from Zuchtres. There is game two, game three. Let me click on that real quick. So we do see Alex brought his Hydra team that he has used before, and yes, we see Cameron the God here. And even though he has a Guard Trump and a Hydreigon, Fire Blast does a lot with uh, Sheer Force boost from Mega Camera. So on Zuchtres' team, I assume it's either AV Mac or AV Tangros. Because if it's not Zim of Coco, it could be an uh, offensive Zim of Majorna as well on Zuchra's team. And Scarfa should be either the Gren or if he's Ash Gren, he um, might be Scarf Coco, even though that seems really, really weird. He does switch out Harden to Camera up turn 1, which uh, means he either doesn't want to reveal that he's Scarf Gren or he's uh, Ash Gren and he can't do much to the Ferrothorn. So he gets the camera up in. If he led with the camera up, that would have been even better. But he most likely predicted Alex to lead with something like um, Garchomp or Lando that like, that, like uh, leads off what was camera up. But yeah, Alex read him well there and got up the rocks to him one. But now Fire Blast is going to do a lot, no matter what Alex switches in. Uh, as long as it connects, obviously. And there's the Mega, there is the... A fire blast and does 51. That is so much. So I think originally this was Scarf Hydreigon on this team. Um, did Alex change up one of the months? I don't remember if he had a guard jump on his team as well. 
But yeah, Zuchtris is depending on which of the monsters AV. He's either gonna go to Majorna or Tangros here. Uh, he goes into Tangros, so that confirms that it's most likely AV Tangros. Um, that does a fuck ton, so that is that is definitely specs damage. And so I assume that Zucht is gonna either knock off or go into Majorna here. But it looks like his Majorna is uh, offensive, and not AV. Otherwise, he would have gone to it immediately. So it's gonna still take a good chunk from uh, specs dark pulls. It's gonna take above twenty percent for sure, since like you don't play games with Spectre Dragon doesn't play games, um, but also Camera doesn't play games. Uh, he has a defog Muse, so he can get rid of the rocks later. The, the problem with defog with Muse, it lets in the High Dragon again, but High Dragon is already at half, so like it's not at the end of the world for its Sucht rest. He goes in the Mag, takes twenty seven. Uh, if this is uh, Shift Gear all out pummeling, he only has to break the disguise from the. So I assume this is a Scarf Guard from the defensive lander on Alex's team. Like we already know about this team. I think earlier it was Scarf Hydra, but he probably changed it from because there's a specs now, so the Guard Charm has to be Scarf. I don't remember if he had a, even a chomp on that team, like I said. But yeah, if this is the correct set, if he's all pummeling, I think he can just click it here because he's either going to his if his AV zone, he might go to dead, or he might also go to Pharaoh Zone to lead Shida's mag. Uh, Ice Beam is also a potential play, but he just goes for Calm Mind. And yeah, if he's the correct set, he can definitely blow the Pharaoh over with Focus Blast or Z Focus Blast, like I said. But if he's like, um, he, he seem, yeah, he seems to be not a set that can hit the Pharaoh. There's a T wave, so that was Alex's way. Um, he's like, nah, 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 let me get rid of that threat real quick. So both get paralyzed. Mew is trying to go, yeah, Mew tries to go for Defog. And I say try because he's parrot, so it might it might not have worked, but thankfully he doesn't get parrot there. Goes hardcore like Coco expecting the Dark Pulse, and that has over half. He can uh, go for Roost here, keeping his Coco healthy, or he can go for U turn to keep momentum. So that the Scarf Charm is here, he can go for. He can go into his Tangros and to see what the Garchomp locks itself into. Mm, I assume that the yeah the rocket should be definitely the land on Alex's team and he probably has spikes on Tang he, uh, he, uh, not Tang uh, Pharaoh he doesn't even have to have spikes he always showed T wave so he might be lead sheet T wave to attack Pharaoh but a rocket should definitely be the lando so he does stay in predicting Zuchtreis to double switch potentially um maybe he was fearing a double into like I don't know if he was fearing a double into one of these three. But yeah, uh, Zuchtres just got really good damage on the Scarf Chomp. And I feel like Alex is gonna go into... He stays in again, I don't understand this play. But he Giga Drains there, he gets some health back. I feel like he should just go into like... Maybe Pharaoh Thorn, yeah. I mean, he most likely didn't want to get knocked off. We see no lefties on Pharaoh, is he, he Chopple again? I don't think you get knocked off yet, so it's probably Chopple again. So Fireblast, um, damn, I was about to say, Fireblast gets a kill here, but he just gets up the rocks. Uh, so now this guard jump is dead to rocks if it switches out. I don't see any hazard control on Alex's side. And yeah, he can just go back to Changros. Um, Mew, Mew might be a play as well, but Mew is paralyzed, so it's a risky play, because then uh, Alex can spam off Quick or Dragon Claw and fish for a para. So it's a bit risky. Um, Tangrus, I don't remember how healthy it is, but I think it's definitely healthy enough uh, even to live a, to live even an Outrage, and if it goes for Outrage, then he can just pivot into his Fairy type, into one of his Fairy types, and even the Chomp, even if Alex doubles out, the Chomp dies to rocks. So, like, it would be, like, it would be fine even if he went for, like, a Dragon Claw Outrage going into his Tang there, but he goes in the Mew and he risks getting parried here, thankfully he doesn't get paralyzed. And I think he can... I don't remember how healthy Coco was, but I remember he ran for Roost earlier, so it should be around 90%. So after Rocks at 70 or 80, something like that, 78. So... Do, 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 do. I think he can go hard into his uh, Coco here one more time. Uh, Alex is most likely just clicking Dark Pulse. He goes in the Majorna, um, so you can say that's a really nice play, but his Majorna is getting chipped and chipped. So I think we just see... Ice Beam or a double switch from Zucht here. He goes for Ice Beam, picks off the Hydra. So Alex went for Dark Pulse. I don't know if he tried to flinch or if he predicted double. I think he predicted the double because we, um, Zucht switched out on the Pharaoh earlier. No, so Alex knew that the Pharaoh was the mag and I think he tried to catch him on a double. So you can go Mimikyu here. He goes Magnezone. Okay. You can just. Uh, 
he traps the Majorna and he can go for Vault Switch. This way he prevents, because if he stays in, um, Camerot comes in for free and gets a kill. So that's is, a, I like the play a lot that he made here, because if he if he went for T-Build or Flash, then Camerot just came in and clicked Fire Blast and, I mean he could have still, he would have just sacked the Chomp the Rocks, but still. Uh, that was cool to see, uh, even though, yeah, yeah now he checks, oh, wow, he goes hard and a Pharaoh. I'm not the biggest fan of that play, I think I would have just sacked off the guard from there. Uh, like, we know that Zucht switched out turn 1, so he switched out turn 1 with the Grand of the Pharaoh, but still, um, like, why would you take extra damage on this when you have a second chomp? And now he's gonna make use of his second chomp, I assume, yup. Uh, he's probably just gonna fire blast and it's gonna fail because there's no target, yep. And he can now go into exactly his landers. So he's kind of forced to go for earthquake since this camera is a big, 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 big threat. He does just do that. It does, actually does a good chunk to tank. Is that, is that even, is that even defensive land though? That seems like it does a little bit more than it should do if the, if the lander was defensive. So Tangrels can, um, just go for HPIs here. Like, if he U turns or something like that, um, I think the Tangrowth might live it barely. So he goes in the Mew to get regen. Um, Mm, yeah, okay, 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 so I made a bit, little narration mistake there. So he, he, he switches out the Tangrowth to get his Regenerator. And this Mew is paralyzed anyway, so it's not that valuable. So I, I have to say, yeah, I messed up there. So I agree with um, so play now that I think about it. Mm -hmm. So we do see it as a Z, a never ending nightmare Mimikyu. You. And he didn't want to get will always by the Mew, so he obviously just goes for the attack. He also didn't want to let his disguise, um, let, like, lose his disguise. And Zucht can go into his uh, Greninja here and go for U-turn to break the disguise. As he goes into the Grand, he's just gonna U-turn. And since this is not live on Mimikyu, it's gonna be quite weak. And so th I, don't, I don't know if Tango is gonna be able to take two hits. With Rocks up, I think Tango might get two hit KO'd, especially from Play Rough. From Shadow Claw, it probably doesn't get too killed though. Like Mimikyu is uh, really like damage output from Mimikyu is like really it's really like disappointing. If you have ever used the Mimikyu and it's not live or after you used your Z move, it like it seems really we weak. Uh, Coco can definitely live a hit. Your Shadow Claw does nothing, so he's outside of range from a Shadow Sneak. He can either go for a Roost here. Mm, I assume Alex is gonna go into the Pharaoh Slash. Uh, now he has a, he has a few potential plays. He's most likely not gonna go to the Lando to be honest, because he kind of needs that for the camera. Uh, but yet Zuchras can go for Roost here, or the the U-turn. I don't think Alex is staying in. Yeah, he just goes Faro. There is the U-turn, um, this Coco is super low now, I don't know if I'm the biggest fan, but Camera gets a kill now, and I think Zucht uh, still has the advantage here. Like, the Mimikyu not having a life orb is really gonna, I think it's gonna come on the play, it's, it's gonna fail like getting the kill on later on the cam or on the tank, we shall see. So you fire his blast, thankfully he does connect, and he obviously switches out, he can sack his Coco or his, he can go, yeah, yeah, he sacks his Coco. Yeah, because his tank was quite low, so I don't know, that probably would have died to Earthquake into U-turn. Gren can go for Ice Beam here, or he can double into camera. If he doubles into camera on the Magnus only gets a kill. Uh, if he just goes for Ice Beam... And gets, like... It's, it's kind of a 50-50, but not really. Because Alex needs this Landers. So, like, it's pretty obvious that Alex is gonna switch. I mean, he doesn't even have to double, he can just U-turn, but, like... Hmm. I guess double into tank might be a, might be a mid ground play in case you don't want to take helmet if this land is helmet. But like I'm pretty sure Alex is just going to Magna Zone here. Maybe you lost the disguise and it's not really healthy, so it would get two hit killed from Ice Beam. Uh, Shadow Sneak obviously doesn't kill the Greninja from the range. It is add. He goes in the Magna Zone. Does he click U turn? He does click pump. 
I mean, that's kind of a mid ground, but it doesn't trade KO. Uh, if the Magnezone switches out and switches in again, um, it takes another round of rocks. That means it might be in range from pump then. But yeah, that didn't happen yet. So, I do assume he's gonna go into. Okay, okay. I thought he would go into the camel. He flash cannon expecting the camel. And please go for HP as he breaks in the vault, switching the Lando, and show me that you're the god. Oh, you can also go into camel here on the vault. That would also be a fire play. And the flash can again doesn't kill, and this Magnuson might be um, important to Alex since it can potentially live a hit from the Gren. Even after rocks, I assume pump is a roll, and pump also has to hit. If you have, oh, so he does volt switch. Let's see, did he just go for Giga then or Earthquake? Did he just go for Earthquake, or did he make the godly play of HP? I think. Oh my lord, I mean for that play I think he deserves to when he HP is breaking I don't know if he, if he really, did he really break the land or did he just want chip? I think he really break the land, what a god. So yeah, Miku is gonna kill this with a Shadow Claw. Um, if Shadow Claw doesn't kill, he's gonna play rough, he's obviously gonna run the Kalk. He knows he's not liable, but Mimikyu is weak as piss, so he had, might have to run a Kalk. Uh, he has these up, that's obvious, yeah, like that. My computer's lagging, no, don't do this to me. Okay, that's good get ran. Like, SDing up, like, I understand it because he wants to be able to kill the, the camera, but like, you're not in range, like, the Greninja doesn't die to Shadow Sneak because it's not Life Orb, and it's resisted. I'm pretty sure this doesn't kill. I zoom it does around, like, maybe 30%, maybe even a bit less. Like, it's, it's, basically it's plus 2, but it's resisted, so it's neutral. And Mimikyu is kind of weak. I know Greninja is frail. Uh, maybe if it's minus defense, Greninja has a slight chance to kill, but even then... I think it would still live. And if it's not minus defense, it definitely doesn't kill. Like, we've seen Mimikyu weak as piss. Um, the, the question here is, do you go for Hydro Palm and risk the miss, or do you just Ice Beam? I don't remember how healthy the, the camera rip is. But if the camera rip is healthy to tag on the Magnezone, then you just Ice Beam here and you don't risk a uh, pump miss. Um, but Alex, oh, Alex knows that Shadow Sink doesn't kill. So he, he played it safe and goes for beam there. So if he pumped there, he just won. Because he would have gotten two chances. But yeah, now uh, he's gonna have to take a flash cannon. And after that he has to take a shadow claw. But I think Cameron might be able to take both. He does get a spadaf drop, that doesn't matter. And he just, you off pause this and he also off pause the Mimikyu after. He doesn't have to risk a miss. And I don't think shadow claw kills. He has to get a crit to win. He does not get the crit. So to rest. Does win the game, Zutras moves on to the next round of ulti. I think round 4 loses bracket. So congratulations to him. Uh, Alexander should have won the series, but he threw away game 2. Because I think he was watching Serie A, he said it earlier in the chat. Um, but yeah. Um, Batman here with Trosco just started. I'm also gonna um, bring that to you guys in another upload. Thank you guys for watching. I'll have like at least one or two more uploads coming today. And yeah, I'm not sure... What if there's more games later, but we shall see. Stay tuned for more content. Thank you for watching and peace out.